baptism. And I wanted all of you up here so you would have a front row seat so you could see. And there's a part for you in this baptism as well. <coughs> all I have to do is get to the right page. <laughs> Hear the words of our Lord Jesus Christ. All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything that I have commanded you. And remember, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Hear also these words from Holy Scripture. There is one body and one spirit, just as you were called to the one hope of your calling, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is above all, and through all, and in all. Obeying the word of our Lord Jesus, and confident of his promises, we baptize those whom God has called. In baptism, God claims us and seals us to show that we belong to God. God frees us from sin and death, uniting us with Jesus Christ in his death and resurrection. By water and the Holy Spirit, we are made members of the church, the body of Christ, joined to Christ's ministry of love, peace, and justice. Let us remember with joy our own baptism as we celebrate this sacrament. On behalf of the session, I present Sullivan Coy Moody, and Brooks Lenore Moody, the sons of Whitney and R.D. Moody, to receive the sacrament of baptism. Is it your desire at this time that the boys be baptized? If it is, please say, I do. Very good. Relying on God's grace, do you promise to live the Christian faith and to teach that faith to your child? If you do, please say, Now I invite the congregation to respond. Do you, as members of the Church of Jesus Christ, promise to guide and nurture Sullivan and Brooks by word and deed, with love and prayer, encouraging them to know and follow Christ and to be faithful members of his church? If you do, please say, we do. We do. Very good. And now to your part. Now, this is important. And we've got a combination of young people from our church and family members of, of Brooks and Sullivan. So this is going to be real important, this part. Do you promise to be friends with Sullivan and Brooks? To look out for them and play with them? To comfort them when they are sad? To laugh with them when they are happy? And do you promise to tell them the stories you've learned about Jesus and God's love? If you do, please say, we do. Very good, very good. Through baptism, we enter the covenant God has established. Within this covenant, God gives us new life, guards us from evil, and nurtures us in love. In embracing that covenant, we choose whom we will serve by turning from evil and turning to Jesus Christ. R.D. and Whitney, in presenting your boys for baptism, do you confess your faith in Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? And do you promise, in dependence on the grace of God, to bring up these boys in the nurture and admonition of the Lord? If you do, please say, I do. Very good. <laughs> now, as a congregation, let us stand and affirm our faith in reciting the Apostles' Creed, found on page 12 of the hymn. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and sitteth on the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Amen. You may be 
thanks, eternal God, for you nourish and sustain all living things by the gift of water. At the beginning of time, your spirit moved over the watery chaos, calling forth order and light. In the time of Noah, you destroyed evil by the waters of the flood, giving righteousness a new beginning. You led Israel out of slavery through the waters of the sea into the freedom of the promised land. In the waters of Jordan, Jesus was baptized by John and anointed with your spirit. By the baptism of his own death and resurrection, Christ set us free from sin and death and opened the way to eternal life. We thank you, O God, for the water of baptism. In it we are buried with Christ in his death. From it we are raised to share in his righteousness. Through it we are reborn by the power of the Holy Spirit. And so we pray now, O Lord, that you would send your spirit to move over this water, that it may be a fountain of deliverance and rebirth. Wash away the sins of all who are cleansed by it. Raise them to new life and graft them into the body of Christ. Pour out your Holy Spirit upon them that they may have the power to do your will and continue forever in the risen life of Christ. To you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, one God, be all praise, honor, and glory, now and forever. Amen. So we'll start with Solomon. Yeah. 